All right, this video is kind of a test video. I just wanted to see how it would be if I performed live um, using OBS software and I tried a number of different ways just to do screen recordings and things like that when I came up with this conclusion. It's just easiest to use OBS. Uh, so in this video, see I have Ableton on screen and then the reason I had the camera, which is my iPhone set up and linked to OBS is so you can see that I'm using the both the Push 3 and the, um, what do you call it, Launchpad Pro. Launchpad Pro is for all for visuals, so each button, I color-coded them so the lights correspond to what I'm doing on the screen. That's the background you're seeing was Vobot, and then everything else is triggered by the Push 3, and I did notice right away I was kind of confused on some of the parameters switching back and forth between the two devices and what I was controlling. Got a little chaotic. Um, but also I added a, a new plug plugin for the Commodore 64, the SID chip. And so I used that about eight tracks on this. And two big things. One, the first part of this is just follow actions. So each each scene, each clip is played following the next one. Um, and then I also have a second project right below it where each one is triggered for just a portion of it. So it kind of remixes itself. The interesting thing is this um, most of the songs in 3-4 and 4-4, four, four, but then there's some other time signatures in there. So it gets really interesting how they all kind of overlay and just kind of work out. Um, and again, trying to figure out the visuals, what the best way to do that is. They're a little chaotic. It don't make sense right now. It's just a lot of button pressing on my part. And then also the Push 3, I used for an instrument. So I had the, uh, the C64 SID chip. Um, my plug is actually MPE on the Push 3, which was pretty amazing. And yeah, that's just a quick walkthrough of what I'm doing. So uh, the only way to see the C64 on the screen would be to zoom in. You can see I have it loaded there um, from time to time. So you can see it on the, the, the video of me sitting there with some random racing shirt. I don't really know what that is. Uh, anyway. Yeah, so that's what's going on here. I'm trying to figure out Zoobot as sound reactive and button pushing. So I want it to mostly be sound reactive. So I'm making minimal changes to the uh, video in the background. But yep, so all three things are recorded at once. So the background, which is out of siph siphon recording, siphon, how do you say it? siphon recording. So it's going out of Zoobot and then I'm just not hitting the record button. And then OBS is recording the Ableton input from the Push 3. And I don't remember if I had to use Black Hole Audio. I think I did. I think I did have to route it to the, um, the OBS software. Also, there was a little hiccup there. And why it took me so long to figure it out was the iPhone, once you say disconnect, will not act as a mic or a camera for video so I had to like reset so I just turn off the iPhone reset it and it came right up and OBS recognized it right away um, and yeah I tried using mono snap and um, what's the other the regular movie player uh, iPad uh, not iPad Mac movie whatever you call it I can't think of what it is where you can do a screen recording and none of them drop the audio anymore so I don't know what happened when I set up my push three no matter what i do with aggregate devices or multi ins and outs it just would not record to the screen no matter what i did so i was like well i'll just use obs and probably going to start streaming anyway so let's do it that way but yeah that's what this video is about enjoy i leave the background music on there and stay tuned i plan on doing some actual performances with this uh it's just me noodling around a little bit here to get the sounds and spaces set up so thank you all right Bye.